Yo, what's up everybody? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician right here on YouTube. And today's video is going to be showing you all about how to grow your music channels here on YouTube, whether you're an artist, a musician, a producer, anything music related. I'm gonna be showing you guys the techniques that I have used, the tools, the tips and tricks on how to grow your channel and how I grew my channel to almost 20,000 subscribers here in 2018. Let's go. So before we begin today's video, I just want to please ask everybody to scroll down and hit that like button as many times as you can. It'll help this video get in front of a lot more people. Also, if you're not already subscribed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new tutorial, how to music, whatever it may be. So this video was actually brought to my attention and, and asked for uh, from a subscriber of mine named, I think it's Nathali. Nathali. I'm not sure if I'm not saying your name right, but she asked, what advice do you have for music slash cover? channels like mine I've been stuck and I feel like no one is watching um, is it all about patience and you know in terms of growing your channel part of it is patience part of it is what type of content you upload and the other part is all about how you optimize your videos how well you optimize your videos you know whether or not those are highly searched videos now me for instance I will go and show you guys to show you where my traffic is coming from because I learned basically when I first started this channel how to optimize my videos best traffic source I believe notice how YouTube search is my number one place where people find is my number one tra traffic source it's the number one place where people find my videos that means I, I optimize my videos pretty good I would say so a lot of other people they really bank on the suggested videos and the browse features and that's basically when YouTube is showing your videos against other popular creators or other videos that are really popular which that's up to the algorithm I have no idea how that stuff works I control only what I can control and that is my my search and my my optimization so I know a lot of you probably have already heard of tools like TubeBuddy and vidIQ those are the two main ones that I'm going to be talking about today I actually use both of them first what you guys want to do is you want to add both of these to your your Chrome browser. Also, this is another tool that I use before I, I go on further. It's called Keywords Everywhere. Get Google Chrome, download that right now if you don't already have it. And if you do, open that up. And it's called vidIQ Vision for YouTube. You would uh, add that to your extensions and then also TubeBuddy. You would add that as well. It's right here. Once you have all three of those added, and you don't necessarily have to add TubeBuddy and vidIQ, I would say for the sake of if you want to use it without paying for all the features, definitely do vidIQ because it has that SEO rating feature. Once you have all three of those added to your Google Chrome, basically they'll pop up here on the right hand side and you'll see TubeBuddy, vidIQ, and then this is keywords everywhere. We want to get talking about the subject matter that you upload to your channel. What kind of content are you doing are you doing covers type beats music videos original music like what what is what is it that you're trying to get discovered once you get that figured out you want to do some research on your competition quote unquote and other people that are uploading similar videos so if i was a type beat channel i would come here to youtube free type beat if we search that there will be these two pop-ups on the side so vidIQ gives you the search term free type beat and if you look here see now i think the free i think keywords everywhere is probably just for google it's showing you how many times that phrase is typed into google but it doesn't necessarily show you how many times that phrase is typed into youtube that is actually very important because you want to do videos and keywords that are also optimized within google because google is tied into youtube google owns youtube so whenever so it's, let's say somebody searches for how to record vocals and harmonies. What do you think is going to happen in harmonies? I just typed this into Google and because Google is tied to YouTube, Google is going to automatically show YouTube results to get people on that platform and get their money. Now look what is the number one result for how to record vocals and harmonies on Google. Me. I'm the number one result, bro. This video is very well optimized. YouTube showed it in their their search results. So not only am I getting traffic from YouTube, I'm also getting traffic from Google. So that's why you also wanna pay attention to this little thing right here um, on the side, the 40 a month, 390 a month. I think this is referring to Google search terms. For YouTube, come over here to vidIQ and also down to uh, TubeBuddy should be down here too. Yeah, there you go. They give you a search volume and the search competition. So for free type beat, let's see, we have 15 million 
monthly searches, okay? 15 million. That means it is a very highly searched keyword. But if you look at the competition score, it's very low. I don't know why that is, but not enough people are using free type beat as a keyword. So this is probably a good keyword to target. Um, and then we compare that also to uh, TubeBuddy. Now here you got, you kind of want to uh, use your own judgment and you may want to like try things out for yourself because TubeBuddy is giving the complete opposite. It's saying search volume is really low and competition is really high. I don't necessarily believe the search volume is low. Everybody's, there's a whole bunch of rappers and SoundCloud wannabes that are searching for free beats and trying to steal it like August Alcina did on my video. Mm, let's not get on that. But, um, so I would say this is still a good keyword to search. So 15 million a month, right? So we wanna use this as a keyword, as a tag and as something to put into the description from here. And the same goes for if you're doing a cover, if you're doing a how-to video, for instance, when I I made the how to record vocals and harmonies video i came into google to see what are the highest search for keywords for vocals and harmonies and i typed in how to record and then it says how to record vocals on garage band how to record harmonies how to record harmonies on garage band so i figured boom <laughs> if i made a video and i titled it and i included the keywords how to record vocals and harmonies and then in parentheses, make sure you include GarageBand and tutorial in the title and in the description and in the tag. Surely YouTube and, and Google will value this video because they're getting all that metadata, which is basically all the words and stuff you put into the video. And then it's gonna push it higher to the top. The more you mention the keywords in the title, the description and the tags, the more relevant YouTube and the computers are going to think your video is relevant to that topic. The way to capitalize on this is, is I made sure to re include all of these words in the description as well. So we go down here and it says an in-studio tutorial vlog on how to record vocals and harmonies. And then I, once again, vocal and music production tips and tricks, uh, da, 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 best techniques for recording vocals for any song and any music recording software in the studio session. Now I probably should have uh, included GarageBand in here somewhere, but then you look at the, the tags as well. My first 10 tags, I'm going to make the most relevant tags to the topic because from what I have studied is that the first 10 tags that you include in a video are generally weighted the most. So those are the most important ones. So I have how to, tutorial, how to record vocals in GarageBand, how to record vocals, in studio, legend, vocals in garage band, music production, how to record harmony, studio vlog. Those are my top 10. You notice my top 10 tags in the video are also keywords that I included in the first little paragraph of my description and are also included in the title of the video. And you'll know that you have a good score. And this is why vidIQ is the best. It tells you your tag count. So this is like how many tags you have in the video? Five out of five. That's That means you have, you basically filled out as many tags as you possibly could. Four out of five tag volume. I think that is, that means like is long tail keywords and short tail keywords. Um, then the keywords in the title, five out of five. So I have as many keywords as I possibly can. Make music, studio vlog, in studio, in studio vlog, want to make music. Um, that's a five out of five keywords in the description. So basically the same thing. I just copy and paste this title as the first line usually, or I include all of these words in a little paragraph. So I want to make sure whatever I write in this description is not just a bunch of links and, and stuff like that. I want to make sure it's actually relevant to the video. You want to use as many different variations of words as possible. So make music, making music, how to make music, you know, stuff like that, because the computer recognizes these words and it knows that they're similar. So don't just copy and paste. Do you really want to make music 40 times in a row? Use different variations because then if people are searching for variations of that video. So Lil Wayne instrumental, Lil Wayne beat, Lil Wayne karaoke. You wanna make sure you include instrumental beat and karaoke all in your description. I do that all the time and I think that's how a lot of my, my instrumental beats take off because people are searching for different things. Not everybody is searching for Lil Wayne broken beat. Some people are searching for Lil Wayne broken instrumental. Some people are searching for Lil Wayne broken karaoke. I guess I should probably show like how I go about doing this stuff. Now I did a good job here with optimizing everything, but I think people aren't really searching for PewDiePie and YouTube Rewind. I think people are more searching for 
YouTube Rewind 2018 was bad and stuff like that. So you upload the video while it's uploading. You can do you can enter in all this information and this stuff right here is going to say zero, 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 zero. It's all going to read as zero. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come here to the title and let's say why YouTube Rewind 2018 was so bad. And then I'll put uh, reaction review video. So these are all my keywords right here. My keywords that I'm choosing to target right here is reaction, review, um, YouTube Rewind, YouTube Rewind 2018, and YouTube Rewind so bad or bad. And so when you first start out with this, we're gonna take this title, copy it, paste it in the first line. So you can make sure that you already are getting all of these keywords in your description. Boom, that's the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you can just write like a little short little paragraph including all those keywords. I recommend copying the title, pasting it in the first line of the description, and then going from there. Always write a short little paragraph or at least a few sentences, you know, because you want as much information. You want the computer to have as much information as possible. There, here's the description that I wrote. Here is my reaction video and review on the real YouTube Rewind 2018 video and how bad it actually was. That first sentence alone already has reaction, review, YouTube Rewind, YouTube Rewind 2018, bad, already in the, in the first sentence. So I'm already capitalizing on a lot of these keywords. Explain what the video is about organically while still including as many keywords as possible and variations to keywords as possible. Because again, as much information as you can give the algorithm and the computers, it'll really help and um, it'll help rank your video in search. We will go onto the tags. So just like how I how I went to YouTube and I typed in the search at the top here, and then it showed me the search results on the side and, and the monthly searches, you can use all those that you can find in there in your tags. If you find a whole bunch of like really highly searched keywords and especially low competitive ones, use those in your tags, use those in your descriptions and use those in your titles because that will help immensely. But if you can only manage to get them in your tags because it's too long or whatever, at least at least get it in your tags. Uh, in my tags, I always include me because I actually rank for a legend now and I am legend as well. I always include my name. And as you can see, the vidIQ score, SEO score is already going up because it's got these two keywords, two out of two, and then two rank tags. I'm already ranking for these two things, which is pretty cool. And then, so let's go, why YouTube Rewind 2018. See, look, and as you're typing, vidIQ will already suggest to you certain keywords that are either performing well, um, that that are uh, relevant to the topic or whatever it may be, it's gonna show you right here. And TubeBuddy does the same thing, but you'll see here, I was gonna type why YouTube Rewind 2018 was so bad. And it's already coming up. So you wanna click that and go ahead and add it. That I think that means we're on the right track. Why YouTube Rewind was bad. YouTube Rewind 2018 rewind 2018 so again include variations of your title your description and everything um don't just leave it up to chance like include as much different changes at least this is what i've done as possible if people are searching for certain terms they'll get that exact term so some people might search for rewind 2018 some people might just search for youtube rewind some people might just search for why you youtube rewind uh was bad can't put sucks because if you put sucks, it'll come up as a controversial keyword and that might get your video demonetized and shown to less people. So you want to wa watch out for that because look, if I put sucks, look what happens. Controversial keywords, sucks, uh, nature, sexually suggestive content, profanity. So you don't want to, you want to pay attention to that. That's also what I like about vidIQ. And as you can see, my vidIQ SEO score is going up 50 out of 50. I mean, 50 out of 100, so I got two out of five tag count, two out of uh, five tag volume, five out of five keywords in the title. That means we got a good title. Five out of five keywords in the description, that's because I copied and pasted this right here, but we're, we also added all those keywords within this paragraph. And then five out of five tripled keywords. Tripled keywords is, I think, single-handedly the most important thing when looking at this little chart right here. Every single time I upload a video, I do not save or post a video until I have five out of five tripled keywords. 
because if your keywords are tripled, that basically means in the title, in the description, and in tags, your stuff is tripled. That means it's extremely relevant and it's going to perform well in most cases, unless it's like a really um, competitive field that, or like a really uninteresting video that you're uploading. <laughs> PewDiePie YouTube Rewind 2018 Review. Maybe that'll help us get some views off of his video here. This is the whole point of this uh section down here it's videos to gain views from so you want to copy the, the the tags if your video is relevant to what it's showing down here you want to copy the tags of this video um and then if you're paying for vidIQ you can boost this video which i'll just do it just to just to see and i'll show you a bunch of other videos you can kind of uh take tags from show more here and show it by relevancy Rewind 2018, hashtag YouTube Rewind. Let's try that. Hashtag YouTube Rewind. Uh, Liza Koshi. Basically, our vidIQ SEO score is as high as it's going to get. Tag volume, I pretty much never get that 5 out of 5. So if you get 4 out of 5 or 3 out of 5, I'd say that's normal. So again, the whole idea of using TubeBuddy and vidIQ is to not only get the search volume for keywords that you're uh, trying to target. So basically, let's say you're doing a cover video of um, an Ariana Grande song, Thank You Next, right? If you're doing Thank You Next and you wanna upload a cover video, you wanna target the best keywords that are being searched for that cover. Now, what if one of the keywords is something like, uh, Thank You Next, Ariana Grande, R&B cover? What if nobody's uploading that, but a whole bunch of people are searching for that? Well, now you know to call your next video, thank you next Ariana Grande R&B cover, because that might be a highly searched keyword that nobody's really uploading videos of. And it's very specific. So when you're, if you're talking in terms of covers, you either, again, have to be really creative with your titles and, and thumbnails, or you have to find a niche type of way of bringing about that content. So don't just say Ariana Grande, thank you next cover you might want to change the the cover to be in a specific style so you can say ariana grande thank you next opera cover or ariana grande thank you next um male version cover or i don't know ariana grande thank you next in the style of polka music like these are just examples don't take these <laughs> examples and use them unless you want to but i'm just giving you ideas because a million people are going to be uploading cover videos of a new song that comes out so you want to find a unique approach or you want to be the first to do it being the first to do a video dramatically helps the video when i've made uh instrumentals for different songs and you know justin like for instance when justin bieber was coming out with journals and he was dropping uh, a song every single monday i would stay up sunday night 12 a.m listen to the song make the song that night record the video and post it all in that same night i would be the first one with an instrumental to that video because i was the first one to to remake it and because i was the first one everybody the next day and even that night were searching for the instrumental so that they can make covers and because i was the first one i was favored by youtube and the algorithm and i literally have like almost i think 400,000 views on a lot of those videos because i was the very first one even though millions of not millions thousands of people uploaded their versions of the instrumental after me because i was first and because the content was good I really came off well. So that's another thing you wanna think of. You wanna be first, or you wanna be as early as possible. If you get on the train too late, the trend is gone. But you also wanna to stick to content that is going to stand the test of time. So that's why I do a lot of these tutorial videos because three years from now, four, five, 10 years from now, people are going to still be looking for videos on how to record vocals in GarageBand. That's not gonna change. That's not something that dies out. GarageBand is gonna be around for that long. So you, you also wanna do those kind of videos if you, if you can manage. This is when I want to start and rearranging these tags because from what I know, again, the first 10 tags are the most important. So I always include legend first. You can you can look in YouTube and see what are the most searched for keywords to put in order of how you want to do it. But I, I'll, I do it myself um, because I, I try and see what's the most relevant to this video and also what I as a human think people are searching for like I think what would I be searching for if, uh, if I was searching for this specific topic so for me I would type in definitely YouTube rewind definitely rewind 2018 
2018 YouTube Rewind. YouTube Rewind 2018. Oh, let's get react reaction in there and review in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's get PewDiePie in there. Boom. And then you can arrange the rest of these if you want to. But don't stress over this too much if you can't get it exactly how you want it. This is the least important part. Just make sure your description and your title is there. But again, tags, even though it's not that important, you still want to, it still helps. It still helps. Even if it's just a little bit, it still helps the optimization. So I literally have all of my top keywords that are in the title, in the description, they are also in the first 10 tags, within the first 10 tags at least, of um, my my tags. Boom, there you go. Uh, get a screenshot, get your, get your thumbnail in there, your very attractive thumbnail, something very bright and contrasty with, uh, if it's a person, you wanna include a singing clip like that, or you wanna include, if it's a sad video, <laughs> you crying or whatever it may be, something dramatic that gets, people's attention you want to make content that's good enough to get them watching for at least i would say 40 percent of the video because the higher your watch time is the more youtube is going to show your video to more people um and then basically from there you get more likes you get more comments you get more subscribers because people find more of your videos when they find more of your videos they'll be more likely to subscribe now you also want to include in your videos a link to your channel directly to subscribe to your channel let's get to 20,000 subs if somebody were to click this it'll basically take them directly to a page that shows subscribe so boom confirm channel subscription and you would just click subscribe so youtube.com slash c slash and then your channel and then a question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one and then that'll basically take people directly to your sub page all i gotta do is click subscribe and there you go that's how you grow your audience here on youtube using seo optimizing your videos with tools like TubeBuddy and vidiq keep in mind your videos do have to be entertaining and you have to make good content and you have to stand out you can't make the same kind of stuff that everybody else is making and you have to think differently with that being said i hope this video wasn't too long because i have basically an hour to edit now so uh thank you guys for watching um i will see you tomorrow in whatever video i choose to do tomorrow if you're not already subscribed subscribe now turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when i upload a brand new video uh hit that like button leave a comment if you have any questions dm me on instagram at i am legend same as here and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching as always be legendary i love you guys